Kenny's Yacht Maintenance, welcome back. Today we're sharing information about painting and all grip and tools and all that stuff. Um, I do a lot of repairs on the big boat, all grip repairs. Sometimes the boat hit the docks or something, tool drop on the deck and people got repairs to do. A lot of times boats call me to the repairs that's really small. Sometimes a little repair, the size of a dime. But then you got to carry all the tools and supplies to do this one little repair. Take a look at my repair kit. This is my repair kit. It's a kit from the Home Depot. It's on wheels, so it's easy to move around. You got three bins in here. You got the top bin, the middle bin, and the bottom bin. The bottom bin, I carry all the paint supplies from paint to primers to resin to all my solvents, my reducers, also paint tree if I need it, paint ruler if I need it. All that stays in the bottom bin. The middle bin, I got sandpaper, my adhesive, sanding blocks, and different stuff in the middle bin. The top bin, I carry tape, all that stuff, gloves, rulers. So I, it's a complete kit for doing paint repairs. Not a not for big projects, just that's my repair kit. Also, this one, also on wheels, I carry my spray guns and everything for spraying stays in this one. So whenever I go to the job, I'm always ready with everything I need. Also, to go to the job, I gotta carry one of my sprayers. The sprayers plus the hose plus extension cords. And sometimes I gotta carry a generator because some of the European boats has no 220 power and I need 110 for my machine. So I gotta carry a generator. So think of all the stuff I gotta carry to a job sometimes to do a little repair the size of a dime so a few years ago I came up with the idea to use an airbrush to do little repairs and I bought this airbrush from Harbor Freight and I tried it and I wasn't very impressed because I was still getting moisture in my paint so I put this thing aside and never used it again. It's been sitting for the past six years. Never used it and I continue using my Fuji machine to do all my repairs. Well, recently I came across an airbrush with a battery operated airbrush with a compressor. And I'm like, that's a good idea. Why don't I buy one, a cheap one and try it out? So I bought this one and um, I tried it out and it worked. Um, not the best quality, but it worked. Uh, this one has a little on and off button and you turn it on and you could hear it. It's running. The compressor is running and you would, your paint would be in there and it will do the job. but. The quality is not all that. This is more for doing artwork. And I search online and I found this from a company named Viper, viperproducts.com. And um, I ordered one of these and I was really impressed with this thing. This little machine will make my life so much easier when I got small repairs to do. Guys, don't expect to paint a boat with this. It's not going to paint a boat or big repairs for you. It's for small scratches and repair. But this is an amazing little tool. So here how this one works. There's an on and off button. 
and it doesn't run until you put your hand on the trigger. So imagine I got a little repair here to do. I give some paint, I wait for 20 minutes, I give another coat of paint, a third coat of paint, and it's done. And I could go around the boat. Sometimes I got multiple scratches, multiple repairs to do on the boat. And I could go around the boat and do repairs with this little machine. And here's the cool thing about this machine. You have a choice where you could either have this gun attach screwed directly to the battery and compressor or with the five feet hose and I really like the option of the five feet hose because I could put this thing compressor battery in my pocket and I could be walking around the boat spraying my repairs and think of the difference in having this machine with extension cord, the hose, and moving this thing around different locations doing repairs compared to this little, sweet little machine from Viper. And um, I would say for guys, if you're out there in the repair business, you cannot go wrong by buying one of those for doing small repairs. Again, don't try to paint a boat with this thing. It's for doing small repairs. And um, it's from a company named viperproducts.com. Go www.viperproducts.com. The number is 1-800-942-8754. And here is what it looks like in the package sweet little package the box even have a little magnetic lead little magnetic lead here you open it up and here is sweet little Viper and it uses a USB charging cable to charge it and um, I used this thing to do a few repairs and um, didn't have to charge it. So I think they say you could run it for an hour without charging and I'm not spraying for an hour when I do repairs. So you've got plenty of juice in this thing. And um, it has 30 PSI, you know, so go ahead. If you're in the business, buy one of those. It will make your job so much easier. I'm all about working smarter and not harder. So, until then, Kenny's Yacht Maintenance saying, keep on keeping on. All right, testing out my airbrush for the first time on this little repair. So this is the compressor, battery compressor, this is the airbrush gun, and the first time in trial, so. We are not built here, anyway. And this is, uh, I'm using all grip primer, all grip 545 primer.
545 Olger Prima seems to be shooting it pretty good for a smaller EPA. Okay.